Tonight I want to talk about the full moon and why we charge our crystals during the full moon. So tonight, the 24th of February 2024, is the full moon in Virgo. I am charging my crystals that I use for everyday healing, for spiritual work and for grounding. So you'll see that I've got a collection of my crystals laid out in my garden. And the reason why I've laid them out this way is so that they can potentially get the energy from the moon, the light, the gravitational pull, and just the energy of that Virgo moon. So I don't always put my crystals out during a full moon, but tonight I feel energized a little bit more by the full moon. So I am a Virgo sun, and I feel that the Virgo moon, being a full moon, is a little bit more energizing than some of the full moons that drain me. So other signs might not be a time where I would feel comfortable putting my crystals out for charging. But tonight I can feel the energy is a little bit more peaceful. The weather is nice and cool. Everything has aligned for me to be able to lay out my crystals. So over here, I have some of my crystals that are sitting on the edge of my garden. So we have um, some colorful crystals here that are all sitting in a lovely box and they're going to really bring the energy back to the moon and put them over my plants and allow my plants to grow. I have my wand with my amethyst. I have my beautiful smoky quartz over here sitting near my tarragon. They've got that beautiful energy of the plants as well. And I have my tiger's eye in front of the rest of my stones here. In this little area, I've made a bit of a grid and I've done that to balance the yin and the yang. And that is light and dark energies. So we have here the energies of light in front to protect us all. And we have the darker energies here to deflect dark energy. So there are protection stones and there are absorption stones. And then behind here, we have the emphasis of the world and the planet that we live on. So this stone here represents the world. So then I have, as I said, my garden and it gives energy to my stones and to the moon. So I charge when I feel that I want to charge. You don't need to charge your stones all the time when there is a full moon, but you need to be connected yourself in order to give your crystals the energy. Thank you.